Okay, I'm not sure there's an awful lot to get into here, but is it just me or did the whole thing with David, you know, the banker guy who wanted Aaron, him being chased by the cops, that really didn't pay off at all. I mean, he just crashes the car and then he can walk away from there. We never really see him being questioned. I mean, it seemed like he was driving too fast because he was really excited about, you know, getting it on with Aaron. Who can blame him? It's Mila Jovovich. Then just, he crashes the car and we never, you know, hear of that cop car that was behind him flashing lights again I don't know maybe it wasn't supposed to be after him it just seemed like they wanted him to pull over and he didn't not sure why it seems like the same thing to do but I don't know I already said in the spoiler free review that it really didn't pay off with Jack going after this girl I mean, it doesn't all have to tie together, but there should have been some kind of payoff. I mean, we don't even see Connie after she leaves his house, or after he leaves her house, rather, at the beginning of the film. You know, there's no, did you find Sip? Where's my daughter? You know, the password guessing scene. It was over so swiftly that it really didn't have any impact, and it was just, it was the first guess. It was just, Aaron, okay. I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious, and maybe the banker dude wasn't the smartest dude, but I don't know. It just seemed like that should have either not been in there because it's such a cliche, or it should have had just a little bit more. I also wasn't entirely clear on if the power outage was intentional, if it was that Hoop caused it, or maybe Hoop caused it unintentionally because, you know, he's not that smart. Maybe it was just random, you know, Murphy's Law kind of thing, and Tyrone then just said, come on, you can do this without the internet, right? You can do this without computers. I don't know. Some of these things seemed to be a little too easy to solve, maybe. I also just really don't know what it is Hoop is even doing. Unless it is cutting the power to the computers, I don't know. Maybe that's it. I do kind of like the joke with Hoop standing over there, you know, with the, he's choked David the poor banker dude, and, you know, Tyrone comes in, his 15 minutes were up. That's pretty good. That was, um, yeah. Doug Hutchison can be pretty funny when, yeah. I think that's about it. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on No Good Deed, a.k.a. The House on Turk Street. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.